You're the Inquisitor. Mother never told me the Inquisitor was an elf. The ears gave me away, didn't they? No, your blood is very old. I saw it right away. Kieran, are you bothering the Inquisitor? Of course not. Did you see what's on her hand, Mother? I did see. Tis time to return to your studies, little man. Hmm. <laughs> My son. Never where you expect him to be, naturally. I didn't know you had a son. Why would you? I take great pains to not let my own reputation affect him in any way. To most in the Imperial Court, he's simply a quiet and well-spoken lad. Perhaps the heir of some distant family. But he goes where I go. Worry not, Inquisitor. Kieran is a curious boy, but seldom troublesome. Will his father be joining us as well? I have raised Kieran on my own for quite some time now as was my preference from the start. So, tis but the two of us, Inquisitor. Your fortress is a large place, and you will scarce notice our presence. He seems like a fine young man. But not the sort one might expect a woman like me to raise. No son of mine would be raised in a marsh, bereft of contact with the outside world. His future will be difficult enough without my adding to his burden. To think... Until recently, this place stood decrepit. Occupied only by the desperate and the lost. Now it is party to events that threaten to shake the world. I wonder if it is pleased. It sounds like you've heard of Skyhold before. This fortress was built upon the remains of a site holy to the ancient elves. They called it Tarar Salan, the place where the sky is kept. It is said that from here, they reached up to the heavens to bring them down to rest. They abandoned it, as did the humans who came after them. Bones laid upon bones, silent until your arrival. We were lucky to have found it when we did. Fate is often mistaken for luck, as Mother is fond of saying. The magic in this place has seeped into the stones, protecting it from darkness. Those who let it fall to ruin did not know what they possessed. You, I think, shall do it justice. You were kind to welcome my aid, Inquisitor, even knowing as little of me as you do. I will do my best to aid your cause with all the knowledge at my disposal. This I swear to you. I appreciate whatever help you can give us. Some might think Corypheus a madman for seeking godhood. Yet one must ask, what were the old gods? What secrets of theirs did the ancient magisters know? What I fear, what all should fear, is not that Corypheus believes he can succeed, it is that he actually may. I understand you have spared the Grey Wardens from destroying what goodwill was left them. It is good of you considering the weakness Corypheus exploited was their own doing. Still, should a true archdemon one day arise, they will no doubt be needed. Or so they would have us believe. One thing which makes me curious, did you encounter the hero of Ferelden at Adamant Fortress? Was the hero of Ferelden a friend of yours? We traveled together during the time she fought the Blight. I helped her and she helped me. Indeed, without her, my son would never have been born. Regardless, did you see her? I wish I had more to tell you, but no, I don't think so. She's not the sort of woman to fade into the background. If she was there, you would have known. I imagine your forces will be heading into the Arbor Wilds very soon, Inquisitor. Trust me when I say that wherever the Illuvian is hidden, it is worth any effort to prevent Corypheus from acquiring it. You seem to know a great deal about elven lore. The Dalish are not the only ones interested in the distant past, Inquisitor. 
Indeed, my skills allow me access to places the Dalish dare not even dream of. The ancient elves hold secrets they have not yet given up. Secrets about the foundation of Thedas itself. Thus, they are my focus. Corypheus clearly feels the same. I'd like to know more about you. Ah, yes. Whence comes the mystery woman slinking her way into the Inquisition's ranks? Once I was an apostate, living well away from the banal influence of the Chantry in the Kakari Wilds. Then came the Fifth Blight with its dark spawn, and I left Ferelden for the Empress's court. It is certain the nobles of Orlais breathe a collective sigh of relief that I am now here. You were in Ferelden during the Blight? The Blight began in the Kukari Wilds, so yes, I experienced it firsthand. Indeed, I fought at the hero of Ferelden's side for a time. She is the reason the Blight was defeated. I wish things had gone differently in the end. It had to be, yet. And after that, I came to Orlais. The last place one would look for me, or such was my hope. The Orlesian court seems like an odd place to find someone like you. That was the point, originally. I knew the Empress was intrigued by the Arcane, and that I could answer questions no Chantry mage could. Thus, we fit together nicely. I became her advisor, and she my benefactor and source of refuge. Truth be told, our arrangement would not have lasted much longer. Too many wagging tongues, even for Selene. It's odd that an apostate could live so... openly. <laughs> it confuses those who expect apostates to cower and hide. I stand boldly before them and demand to know why I need some Chantry mage to teach me to control my power. They would put me on a leash so they can feel safer at night. I am uninterested in their comfort. Naturally, it helps to have friends in high places. I'll leave you to the garden. Until next time, then. As you wish. <laughs> 